and uh, you know, they, they, you know, about six months, a year into the, you know, the, I don't understand your species. We're very happy. Mm-hmm. Sex is great, and then all of a sudden we'll be driving uh, home from the restaurant or whatever, and I'll get this. Where are we going? I said, well, we're, we're, we're going home. She goes, No, I mean, where is this going? And I'm like, What's this? I know, I know. Well, women are nesters. I mean, I have to admit, you know, women like homeostasis and hemostasis and nesting and and knowing that there's a 10-year and a 5-year plan and I just think it's the maternal instinct in us and a big thing you know you guys need and you are so right but a big thing you older men need to realize is we women we're always thinking about who's going to take care of us later you know we're we're always the ones kind of taking care of the kids and taking care of the husbands and all that but you know we know we're going to be 70, 80, 90 maybe 100 one day and we're always (laughs) well that's exactly that that's why you know you're gonna your wife may come up to you and say I want another two babies I mean you know we're, we're always we're always thinking of the future and we forget to think of today whereas men think of today and it's like ah what'll be what will be and and that that's I think one of the big fundamental differences but you're right and and uh, you know I'm sorry that um, you know you're frustrated and haven't found somebody that can kind of you know tit with your tat but uh um you sound happy so that's well, good well you know it, it is what it is i i just uh I, I watched my parents fight i watched my uncles and aunts get divorced and you know doc i, I just said i'll be damned if i'm gonna come home to where i pay my mortgage or my rent and fight. That's just mm-hmm. insane. I said, I need a, I need a, a place of peace. Exactly. You need your sanctuary. But you know what? That, actually, you're bringing up a good point because I do tell married couples one of their one of their focuses of uh, resentment and, and distress is you need a place for your own little solace. And you know, if you want to meditate, and I think women need a place. My place is the toilet. I, I when I, <laughs> I honestly because you know the, the kids share my bathroom. My husband's in the shower, the, so the bathroom isn't my place. I, I really don't have. Like a sewing room because I don't sew. My workout room is basically I, my equipment is is in the in the living room. So you know if I could be alone when I'm on the toilet, that's where I regroup. You know, and and a lot of men, unfortunately, it's that five by two cubicle in their house. So so you know do that. You know maybe have a room off limits so your wife doesn't fuss with it and throw flowers in there. And you know I know I'm stereotyping here, but you know women like to fuss and clean. You know let your room be your room. Let stink of you know gym socks and and that could be kind of your go to place. This is for of course my married men. And, you know, women, if you don't want your husband messing up your bathroom or, you know, leaving hair in the shower, don't let them shower in your shower. Get a separate shower. Or, you know, get them a bidet. Is, is that what men use? No, men use urinals. I have a friend. Oh, he is brilliant. He built his house where he put a urinal in there. And the wife is extremely happy because now he doesn't pee up the toilet seat. You see, you see, these are these are ways to make your marriage work. I hope you all are taking notes. 